In the second section of chapter two, we're going to continue our relationships between variables, explanatory and response, but um, in this section, we're going to do quantitative instead of categorical variables. So again, one of our big targets will be the relationship between, if you distinguish between explanatory and response variables, but it's quantitative data, we're going to make a plot, because we always make plots, or let the app make the plot, but this will be a scatter plot, and it'll be between two quantitative variables. And then from the scatter plot, we're going to describe these things, the direction, the form, the strength, of the relationship between the variables and if we're going to identify outliers. Now before we used um, for quantitative variables we used dot plots, stem plots, histograms, box plots, but that was one quantitative variable. When we do two quantitative variables one will be along the x, one will be along the y. Generally the explanatory is along the x, the response is the y but we're going to use a scatter plot, so there'll only be the one plot that we're going to deal with now. Okay, um, so if we have the weight in carats for diamonds and the price in, what is that, thousands of dollars, there's a bazillion data points here, and you can see this relationship is non-linear. It doesn't, I couldn't fit a straight line to go through these points. So it's a non-linear relationship, it's the direction is in the positive because as the weight increases, so does the price. It doesn't look like there's any outliers here. My data points, it just don't fit. And let's make sure. And the strength would be if I did fit a curved line, and we're going to learn later in this chapter how to calculate equations of best fit line. But the data fits the line pretty well, it drifts here, so we would say this is either moderate or pretty good in this terms of the strength. Okay. So the next thing is <clears throat> to talk about how to make a scatter plot by hand. What I'm going to do is have you use the app again to, all you have to do is get the data in and you'll have to decide which is the explanatory, which is the response. So the first video we have is it, the guy is just going to talk about differentiating between the average income and life expectancy in countries, which is the explanatory, which is the response, and then the heights of husbands and the heights of wives in the sample of married couples, which is explanatory and which is response. And just like for categorical data, sometimes it's crystal clear. You can tell which is explanatory, which is response, and sometimes it's not clear. So you have to be able to figure that out as well. And that first video will talk about that. The second video will talk about these um, dash times that were recorded for athletes and their long jump distance that they can jump, the relationship, and here's the data. So you would have to get this data into a the app. Now I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, but the video will talk about making the plot by hand, where I'm going to show you in a moment how to make it by um, app. And then there's a question on the classwork about the same thing. So what I'll do is I'll copy this set, which would be the dash time. We'll go to the app. And we want to do two, whoops, two quantitative variables. So I click that. And there's the dash time. And then I go back and I copy this. And this would be the long jump distance. I paste that in. And again, the key thing is that the data is separated by spaces or commas. And then there's the scatter plot. So if we look at this, I couldn't fit a straight line this way. I sort of could fit a straight line this way, but it looks like, um, based upon this data, it's a negative relationship because um, as the dash time goes increases, the long jump distance goes down. Um, it really, even if I fit 
a straight line here. It's really a weak relationship because the data is all over the place. It looks like I got an outlier. I might even be able to talk about another outlier, but this is definitely an outlier. So there's a lot of things that you can do, and I'll let the video talk about that, but essentially it's, that's how you would do use the app. It's two quantitative variables. You put the data in, you define the explanatory, you define the response, put its data in, begin analysis, and you get the plot. Okay. Now again, to recap, whenever you're asked to describe a scatter plot, the direction, it's either positive if it goes up or negative if it goes down. That's as easy as that. All right. Um, the form is either going to be linear or nonlinear. If you can fit a straight line to the data, sort of, it would be linear. And if it looks like the, the data has a curve to it, it's nonlinear. The strength will be one of three things. If I could fit a line and all the points sort of look like they're on the line, or I can fit a curve and all the points look like they'd be on that or pretty close to that, it's a strong relationship. If there's some of them that are off, but generally it looks half decent, they say that that's a moderate association. And then like the last one I just did, if there's the dots are all over the place, then the association would be weak. So we talk about direction, positive or negative, form, linear or nonlinear, strength, strong, moderate, weak, and then outliers. There's Again, there's no calculation here yet, but it would just be do you see points that are just way off. They don't... Um, uh, fit. And the last video will take the weight in carrots and the dash time and do exactly what I just did. Talk about these things. I'll let him do it in the video, but that'll give the general idea of what's going on. Now, if we take a quick look at the homework problems, these are just from the videos. You Same old thing. You just watch the video and answer the questions or screen capture, whatever you need to do. This is the same exact one I just did for the data, the dash time and the long jump distance. It shows you how to go through it and use the app. And um, I must have screwed something up because there's a point I had on mine down here that wasn't there. So I either copied something wrong, but just basically take the data, put it into the app, separate them by commas, and um, see what you get. Now this one, the only difference would be there's no outlier because I missed, so I must have screwed up this and put the incorrect number and that's why the point showed up, or it's probably this one, the point showed up down here. And then the rest of these are using the app with two categorical variables. You'll have to figure out which is the response, which is the explanatory. There's the link for the app. Once you to just put get the scatter plot, put the information in. Here's one where you describe the explanatory variable and the response. Here's another set of data where you're going to use the app. There's the link to it. And again, give me the scatter plot and then describe it. Here is a scatter plot. It wants you to describe the relationship. Tell me which one would be the explanatory, which is the response, and then talk about direction, form, strength. And if there are any outliers, again, this is about mortality rate and um, income per person. Again, you'd have to put the data into the app. So I think it's fairly straightforward. Um, so that would be what we're going to cover in lesson 2.2.